At the core of value investing, one of the most important things that you can do is to compare stocks and find those stocks that are undervalued. In this video, I want to share with you the three most effective ways that you can use right now to compare and analyze stocks in Excel. Okay, so there's different ways to compare and analyze stocks in Excel, but right away, I want to show you one of the most powerful ways of doing this. So this is very simple. All you need to do is pick a stock list of companies in the same industry and what we're going to do in this case we're going to look at different ratios that are going to tell us about how each company is comparing in the same industry across different metrics so in this case we have the PE ratio the price to sales ratio the price to book ratio the price to free cash flow ratio and the enterprise value over EBITDA this is going to give us a good idea of the valuation of each of these companies uh, relative to each other so in order to do this we need a way to get the data and for that we recommend using Y sheets we have many videos on our channel that you can check out in this case we're going to use the wise function which you can see how it works here so let's get the data so the way we do this is very simple we're going to enter wise this is going to be the symbol and here you can see we can enter different parameters so in this case you can enter one parameter or multiple I recommend entering multiple parameters so you get all the data at once we're going to lock this in so that way we could drag the formula down and get it for all the different companies and for the period you can enter specific year you can enter ly to get the latest year of data available uh, what i recommend that you do is ttm so TTM is the trailing 12 months and this is the most up-to-date data. For example, the PE ratio would be based on the latest EPS on a TTM basis and the latest stock price. By doing this, we click enter and we're going to get all of the stock data at once. And this is great. So now all we need to do in this case is just grab this, drag it down. And now we're going to be able to get it for all the different other companies that we have here. Okay, great. So now what we need to do is maybe do some formatting so this looks a little bit better perfect so now this is starting to look nice we can close this right and now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna select all this different data and here we could create like pivot tables we could create uh, graphs whatever we want in this case we're gonna create a graph that's gonna illustrate how the different companies compare to each other so we're gonna go to the recommended stock graphs in this case I don't really like any of these except this one so we're gonna do this there's too many companies uh, that's why the visualization doesn't necessarily look the best but if we make it bigger you get the idea in this case we have all the different ratios for all the companies and as you can see we can see right away which companies are trading at lower multiples than the others one interesting one which like I'm sure by looking at the stock market news you can tell Intel looks uh, like the metrics are very low compared to the others but this allows you to be able to quickly spot some potential investment opportunities that you can exploit one last thing that I want to show you is that obviously if you do the analysis with less data at the time in terms of a graph it does look better because it allows you to see the data more clearly so in this case we have the different companies and then we have the different ratios that we've selected so now it is more clear to see like which companies uh, may be potentially undervalued across each of the different metrics so this is a good way of looking at this and better yet what I want to share with you is this once you have the data set up in this way you can always go on white sheets click on refresh live data and then boom you're gonna get all of the most up-to-date live data at once and there you go now you can do your stock analysis in this way a lot faster and now we're gonna move into the next way to compare and analyze stocks in Excel the next way to compare and analyze stocks in Excel is a very powerful one and that is essentially to build a screener and by the way this also works on Google Sheets as well but in this case we have a whole bunch of metrics list of companies uh, so in this case we have the name this is is using the wise price function we have the market cap using the wise price function we have a whole bunch of metrics that we calculate using simple excel formulas and then we have additional data from the financial statements using y sheets you can see it right here and now the cool thing about this 
is that we could filter through the data and find companies that better suit our particular investment criteria. But before we do that, I just wanna share with you uh, the same thing. So if I click on refresh live data, all the live data will automatically update. So that way you always have the latest data available for your particular screener. We have a whole dedicated video on our channel on how to build a stock screener in Excel, so you can check that out. But essentially, once you build something like this, what I recommend that you do is that you go to another tab, you copy paste it, and here we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of these metrics and we're gonna copy paste them as values only. So now we can expand this a little bit, make it bigger. Great. Zoom in. And once you have this, essentially what you can do is this. You can select sort and filter, filter. And now you can just filter based on different criteria. So in this case, we can go ascending. So this is going to show you the companies with the least net income. We can go to descending, which is going to show you the companies with the highest net income. And you can imagine that the same thing is available for all the other different metrics and ratios available. This is great. Uh, we can also go based on the market cap and you can imagine this can get pretty complex as you add more and more different metrics. If you want to see what data is available on one page like the Wise function or the Wise price, you can click available data and you will see all the different data available from the financial statements, dividend data, key metrics and whatnot. So overall, this is one of my favorite ways to um, be able to compare and analyze stocks in Excel and stay tuned because we're going to release a functionality specifically designed for screening on Y sheets so that way you can get like hundreds thousands of stocks at once and be able to find the stocks that most matter to you very very quickly the last powerful way to analyze stocks in Excel is to take advantage of Excel's native visualization capabilities so as you can see we've set up this model right here that generates a whole bunch of different graphs so in this case is we have revenue and operating income, margins, growth, cash flow, operating expenses, net income, and whatnot. And we can see this information on a historical basis. As you can imagine, once again, what we're basically doing is we're extracting all of the data using Y Sheets formulas, which you can see some of them right here. The other ones come from this data right here. And then from there, we're able to create the graphs on Excel. So the cool thing about this is that this is very dynamic. So let's say you want to compare different companies. We're looking at Microsoft right now now we want to compare it with Apple now that we have a good picture of Microsoft all we need to do is change the company ticker but make sure to have your calculations on automatic so we're gonna change it again there we go and now all of the data will automatically update for you so now you can see this is Apple this is the TTM revenue the different ratios change as well and now we can see the growth which looks very good margins look steady and we can easily compare the data with other companies as well okay so now we're looking at Apple now let's look at Amazon so now we're going to remember these graphs. We can also make duplicates of these different tabs so we can go back and forth. So actually, let me show you that. That's very cool. So you can just move or copy, create a copy of the dashboard. This is great. And now we're going to do it for Amazon. And here we go. Now we have Amazon and we have Apple right here. So we can go back and forth to look at the data. This is pretty cool. The only thing that you will need to do is, of course, make sure that the data tab gets updated with the proper company. Otherwise, uh, you're going to be able to keep seeing the same data even though you change the ticker just because remember that all the data for all these graphs come from the data tab. So if that stays the same. It's going to show you the same even though you change to a different company. So just keep that in mind. But that's a very simple fix and a very simple duplicate that you can make in order to adjust for this. Now you know how to compare and analyze stocks in Excel like a professional. So go ahead and use this knowledge so you can make good investment decisions for your particular financial situation. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.